Now I've always thought of Ford's F-150 Raptor as a Porsche 911 GT3 of pickup trucks. Now bear with me with this. Like the Porsche 911 GT3, this is a race-bred piece of machinery you can drive every day on the street. And when you take it on the track, or in this case, off the track, it makes you feel like a driving superstar. Now I've also believed you can never have too much of a good thing, which is why this particular Raptor is a very special truck. You see, under the hood is Ford's new 6.2 litre V8, and it has 101 more horsepower than the 5.4 that powered the original Raptor. So does this make this truck the Porsche 911 GT3 RS of pickups? Let's take it for a drive and find out. The Raptors are built using the biggest brakes and the strongest half shafts in the F-150 parts bin, along with the heavy-duty rear axle. Boasting 11.4 inches of travel up front and 12.2 at the rear, the Fox Racing shocks help the Raptor shrug off monstrous high-speed off-road impacts that would pop the springs through the fenders of a regular truck. Yet, they deliver such sublime body control, the truck rides like a Range Rover on the blacktop. It's that good. But there's one thing the Raptor's been missing. Power. That is, until now. Ford's new 6.2 liter V8 is the engine the Raptor was always meant to have. Built at Ford's Romero engine plant, the new 6.2 is a conventional iron block aluminum head V8 with single overhead camshafts, variable camshaft timing, and two valves and two spark plugs per cylinder. The engine pumps out 411 horsepower and 434 pound-feet of torque in Raptor trim. That's a useful 91 horse bump in power and a 44 pound-foot increase in torque. The other big change has been the transmission calibration for the six-speed automatic, which will now hold the lower gear on the entry to corners if you're driving hard. We drove 5.4 and 6.2 Raptors back to back along the same desert track, a challenging mixture of soft sand and scattered rocks and stomach churning bumps, linked by constant string of fast and slow speed turns. The 6.2's crisper throttle response, how it punches harder out of turns, and how it blows through deep sand drifts that leave the 5.4 struggling are all instantly noticeable. The revised transmission calibration delivers faster, more authoritative shifts, yet it holds a lower gear when you lift off the gas and pitch the truck sideways into a corner. The extra power and torque make the Raptor more adjustable, more fun to drive in the rough stuff. You're more able to change the truck's attitude mid-turn lift off the gas to get the nose to tuck into the apex or punch it to kick the tail wide. It might weigh more than the 5.4, but the 6.2 liter Raptor feels lighter and nimbler. We tried it in 4x2 with a diff locked and 4x4 with the rear diff open. In two-wheel drive, the Raptor is spectacular, sideways and spitting sand everywhere, but it requires pro racer reflexes to keep the momentum up through the desert. Four-wheel drive is the hot ticket for most drivers in most conditions. The extra power and torque helping the front wheels pull you out of turns, particularly in the soft sand. The 6.2 liter engine is a $3,000 option. Worth the money? You betcha. In fact, once the Raptor 6.2 starts to hit the streets, we wouldn't be surprised if demand for the 5.4 liter slowly dries up. And what will SVT do for an Encore then? Well, with a bump in the compression ratio, a revised cam profile, new headers, and a remapped engine management system, this 6.2 liter V8 is good for a reliable 500 horsepower and 500 pound-feet. The engine's already been race proven in the Baja 1000 when installed in the Raptor R. So perhaps a Raptor R for the street? Now that would be one hell of a truck, and the line starts right here.